Hello and welcome back as we start this new section on application and messaging services. In this particular lesson, we're going to focus on SNS or otherwise known as simple notification service. So over here on the Orion papers, make sure that we are on our accounts and services layer and let's drill down into our account and then into app services. Now, a recent change over here on the AWS console is that they actually separated out simple notification service and simple queue service from the app services section. But up until a few days ago, they were actually all under the application services section. So even though over in the Orion papers, I have it all classified under app services, don't be confused here because it has recently been broken out into these two separate sections. So, okay, let's dive down here into SNS. And first, let's jump to SNS Essentials and get a good understanding of what SNS is as a service. And then I'll also click over here under Simple Notification Services as well so we can access it here in the console. So what is SNS? Well, SNS coordinates and manages the sending and delivery of messages to specific endpoints. We are able to use SNS to receive notifications when events occur in our AWS environment. SNS is integrated into many AWS services, so it is easy to set up notifications based on events that occur in those services. So with something like CloudWatch and SNS, we can create a full environment monitoring solution that notifies administrators of alerts, capacity issues, downtime, changes in the environment, and more. This service can also be used for publishing iOS and Android app notifications and creating automation based off of those notifications. So the key thing here to really know about SNS is that it's a way for us to trigger the sending of notifications to ourselves or to administrators or to management based on things that happen within our AWS environment. And since it is integrated into a lot of services, it is super easy to set up. Now, before we actually go and build an SNS topic and send a message, let's talk about the various components of SNS. So there's three main components, which are the topic, subscription, and the publisher. So the topic is the group of subscriptions that you send a message to. This is basically just the container and how we organize the people and endpoints that we want to send messages to. Then there's the subscription, and this is an endpoint that a message is sent to. So available endpoints include HTTP or HTTPS, you can send it to a website, email in either regular format or JSON format, SQS or simple queue service, which we're going to talk about in the next lesson, application or mobile app notifications. This is the iOS, Android, Amazon, or Microsoft notification side. Also, you can send messages directly to a Lambda function. And also we can send messages to SMS or cellular text messages. Then we have the publisher, and this is the entity that triggers the sending of a message. And this can include a human, meaning I can manually publish to a topic and send messages to an endpoint. We can set up an S3 event that triggers an SNS topic, meaning that we can set up an SNS topic to be sent to whenever we upload, say, a new object to an S3 bucket, or if an object is deleted from an S3 bucket. And we're gonna go into more detail about that in the lab following this lesson. Also, CloudWatch alarms are set up and easily integratable with SNS. So we can have a CloudWatch alarm set up to notify us when say your EC2 instances CPU utilization hits a certain threshold. It can send us a message letting us know that we may want to provision a new EC2 instance or increase the size of our EC2 instance. So over here, let's take a quick look at actually using SNS in the AWS console. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a topic. And again, this is just the group of subscriptions that we want to send the messages to. So I'm just gonna give this a name and I'll just call this SNS example. Display name we can leave blank for now. Then within our topic, what I need to do is I need to create a subscription. So this is going to be who or what I'm going to want the message to be sent to. So in this case, I'm going to have it sent to an email address, which I've already set up over here, a Gmail account just called lasnsexample at gmail.com. And I'll click create subscription. Now over here in my email address, if I wait a second and hit refresh, I will see here that I have an AWS notification and this is asking me to confirm my subscription. So your subscribers will have to confirm the subscription in order to receive notifications from SNS. So I'll click confirm subscription here. 
And I also have the option to unsubscribe if I so choose, but I'll close this out for now. Move back, and I will see this goes from pending confirmation, I'll just refresh, to confirm. So now I can send messages to this endpoint, which is my email address, lasnsexample at gmail.com. So now, me being the publisher in this particular example, I will click here, publish a topic, but this can just as easily be a CloudWatch alarm or an S3 event. So it states here the topic ARN, and I'll put in a subject. Let's call this test message. And I'll write, hi, I am sending an SNS message. Then all I need to do is click publish message. And then click back over here to my email. And I do see right here, I've received that notification. Test message is, is the subject. And here I see the message, which is, hi, I'm sending an SNS message. So that is at its base what SNS is. It is a simple notification service. So out here, I also have just the generic workflow, which is, again, a publisher will choose to send a message and will initiate the topic to send the message to the subscriber. And if you just, again, want a reminder of what any of these things are, you can click on any one of these again just to see a detail of what specifically a publish, a topic, or a subscriber are. Now, in the lab following this lesson, we're actually going to go in and build an S3 event to trigger an SNS topic, and we'll walk through the process of how to do that. But for now, we will conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.